What's going on guys? It's Eric from Intelligent Quads here coming back at you with another video. Today I'm going to be doing uh, a little bit more of a simple video and I'm going to be showing you guys how we can connect multiple drones to Q-Ground Control and some of the techniques we can use to control a drone swarm from Cube Ground Control. So without further ado, let's get into it. So in order to connect multiple vehicles to a ground control station, we're going to have to edit one of the parameters within RD Pilot. This parameter is the SysID this map parameter. And what this parameter does is it allows you to assign a, an ID number to each drone within your swarm so that all of the Mavlink messages do not conflict with each other. So the next thing we're going to want to do is take a look at this command here. And this is the command we usually use to launch our uh, software in the loop simulation. So you'll notice that we're specifying that we're running an Arducopter instance and then we're giving it a dash F gazebo iris. And so this gazebo iris is actually um, allowing us to load custom parameters for our software in the loop drone. So what we're going to need to do is make a couple different instances of this, but changing the um, sysid this map parameter. So now let's go ahead and start editing the files. So we'll come down to RD Pilot tools, auto test, PySim, vehicle info.py. So open up your files and then we'll go down to RD Pilot uh, tools, auto test, PySim, vehicle info.py. So now let's open vehicleinfo.py. So what we're going to do is we're going to want to come in here and then find where it says gazebo iris. So this is where we're going to be adding uh, our bit of code, which is in the readme. So let's come over here and copy and paste all of this code into uh, this file right here. And I'll go ahead and tab that out just to make it look a little bit more pretty. So what this code here is doing is when you launch the simvehicle.py simulation with the gazebo-drone1 um, parameter, it's basically going to come here and tell you to load this set of parameters and then this set of parameters for drone2 and this set of parameters for drone3. So we just added three unique uh, drone launch options. So now we need to add each of the parameters for these drones. Now let's save this and close it. So now let's go ahead and talk about the parameter files that we just added to um, the vehicle.info file. So if you come down here, you'll see this list of, of parameters, which are the default parameters that come with the gazebo iris in RD Pilot. Um, what I did was I added this parameter, sys id this map one, and this will be what it is for the first drone, and then for the second drone, it'll be two, and then for the third drone, it'll be three, and so on. So now let's go ahead and find this folder, default params, and then we'll make these files. So let's open up files again. So we're in PySim. If we go up to auto test, the default parameters folder should be right here. So then we can go ahead and start making our uh, files. So let's open up a terminal um, in this folder and then we'll go ahead and do a nano and uh, gazebo, gazebo drone1.parm. And then we'll go ahead and copy and paste all these parameters right into that file. Now we'll go ahead and copy that. And we'll do the same thing for the third. Now let's edit those. And change the second one to two. And now the uh, third one to three. All right, so now that we got the uh, parameters all figured out, now let's talk about how we can set up Q ground control to talk to our software in the loop instances. So when we launch our software in the loop instances this time, we're going to add this launch parameter, uh, dash dash out equals TCP in, and then um, the everything code plus the uh, port number 8,100, and then 8,200 for the second one, 8,300 for the third, and so on. Um, and so basically what this is specifying is a, uh, a, a port in which our ground control station can connect to. So in order for our ground control station to connect to this port, we're going to have to go and configure these communication links. So let's open up a terminal and launch Q ground control. 
So now let's go over to the comms leaks and then we'll go ahead and start setting up these connections. So we're gonna name the first one drone one and we're going to specify the connection type to be TCP and then the host address to be 0, 0000 and then uh, the TCP port to be 8100 and we'll hit OK on that and then we'll set up another one and this one will be drone 2 and go get the point. So now we're just gonna open up our terminal and launch the simulation just as we did before. So the first thing we do is launch the IQ sim. And launch runway.world. The next thing we wanna do is um, launch the software loop simulation with these commands right here. Because we're uh, launching two RD Pilot software in the loop instances, your gazebo sim might slow down because of all the extra compute, but just give it a few minutes and um, you should be able to launch it just as we did with one drone. Now it looks like we're ready to start flying drones. So now let's go back to Q ground control and then go to drone one and then hit connect. And then on drone two also hit connect. And now we can go back to our mission manager and we will notice that there are two different drones connected to Q ground control. And controlling these drones is really just as simple as controlling one drone. So for example, if we want it to take off, we can just command this drone to take off. And then if we want to command the second drone to take off, we can just switch to vehicle two and then give that a takeoff command as well. And if we look at our um, gazebo sim, we shall see that both of these um, drones are flying. And it's uh, the same thing for all the other functionality. So here, enjoy this quick little demo as I fly the drones around. Controlling a drone swarm with Q ground control is actually pretty simple, and that may be all you really need for your drone application. But if you need something more complex and need your drone swarm to coordinate and fly a more complicated autonomous mission, stick around for the next episode where I'll show you guys how we can use the IQ GNC functions to coordinate a larger autonomous swarm. See you in the next one.